This is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. Good morning. We have made it together to Thursday, December 14th. <laughs> I'm Ray Collins. That's right. Thanks for tuning in this morning. I'm Stephanie Webb. And like Ray said, welcome to Thursday morning. I hear there's a meteor shower. I didn't see it, though. I didn't see it either. I heard the no. same thing. Eastern Sky, Josh, did you see it? I didn't because uh, I was sleeping <laughs> by, by like 8 o'clock. It was supposed to be from 9 until 2 in the morning. And uh, oh. anyway, we're all in bed at that time. It, but yeah, but still, it was a nice night for it because we had mostly clear skies. Now, as far as what our weather is right now, same situation. We have fair conditions. 51 degrees is our current temperature. Dew point at 49. Notice the dew point, though, yesterday we were in the 30s and low 40s. Dew points in the upper 40s. So that's just a sign of what's to come because we're going to have more of a southerly wind to help transport more of the warm air and more moisture back into the area. A few high clouds passing us by right now but the clouds will be on the increase as we go through the rest of the day. As far as our highs, topping out in the low 70s today, which is about average. Average at this time of the year is 73. So it looks like uh, we're in store for a very pleasant Thursday. Back to you. All right, good to hear. Thank you, Josh. Let's check the roads right now. First off in Manatee County, a little blip there up by the mall. If you follow the uh, 301 as it hooks towards 75, it gets to the overpass, a little slow down there for some reason. Otherwise, pretty clear right now in Manatee County. A little slow down there on Fruitville as you head to eastbound toward the interstate. Bee Ridge pretty clear right now in Clark. Slow down there eastbound as well. Up oh, just like that, Bee Ridge popped up with a slowdown. <laughs> Otherwise, all clear to the south at 502 now on your Thursday morning. Our top story this hour, more than one million gallons of wastewater said to have been spilled after a force main was damaged late Monday. Let's go live to see now our Marla Spence is there with an update. Marla, good morning. Good morning to you, Stephanie and Ray. That is absolutely right. I'm live on Cortez Road West in Bradenton and crews are up early working this morning. They're continuing to work on that force main right behind me on this road after several gallons of water was spilled as late as last night. Now that pipe for that main, which was in the process of being replaced, was struck by a worker earlier this week and resulted in that major water spill. Now, as of last night, about 1.5 million gallons of water was spilled and crews with the Manatee County Utilities have been out here trying to fix the issue day in and day out since Monday and that spill and to also replace that force main. Now, there is no word yet on when that main is expected to be fixed. That force main uh, services the West Bradenton area and also Anna Maria Island. Back to you guys. All right, thanks, Marla. We'll have more information and updates for you both on air and online. We're getting some local reaction now to that contentious election for Senate in Alabama. Democrat Doug Jones narrowly defeated controversial Republican candidate Roy Moore, who still has yet to concede that race. ABC 7's Rick Adams has the latest from the Sarasota County Democratic Party headquarters with more. Well, obviously, Democrats here are very happy with what had transpired in Alabama. They see this as a positive sign of things to come. The 50 to 48 victory of Democrat Doug Jones over Republican Roy Moore in Alabama's U.S. Senate race Tuesday night has ignited the Democratic Party here on the Sun Coast. Dolores McFarland, vice president of the Sarasota County Democratic Club, is thrilled with the results, especially in a state that is known as the reddest state. A Democrat won a Senate seat in Alabama. And this is on the tail, this is on the heels of Virginia, the win in Virginia. We've got momentum going now as the Democratic Party. For some local Republicans, they see this victory a little differently. Rod Thompson, president of the Sarasota Republican Club, tells us he feels Doug Jones will only serve two years before a Republican is voted back in. It's a seat that was vacated by Jeff Sessions. Thompson believes Roy Moore was a very weak candidate, especially with all the sexual misconduct allegations. Roy Moore himself did a really gosh awful job of explaining them and of defending himself. Um, without actually making things worse. So it was sort of a perfect storm of events and confluence of things, and um, I don't believe it in any way 
portends anything towards the future. Political science professor Frank Alcock says this victory by a Democrat in Alabama does have a significant impact, mainly that the Republicans will have one less vote in the Senate, now giving them just a 51 to 49 edge. He tells us it also does affect the president. I think uh, there are implications for Trump uh, in the fact that he got so involved with uh, a tainted candidate, but I think the biggest layer might be the enthusiasm that the Democrats will be picking up from this. And Roy Moore has yet to concede to Doug Jones. He's hopeful that a recount will take place. Reporting from Sarasota, I'm Rick Adams, ABC7, your Suncoast News. State news now. Governor Scott is sidestepping questions about whether he knew about allegations of sexual misconduct against one of his top appointees. Former Representative Rich Workman abruptly resigned last week from his role on the state utility board. His resignation came after Fort Myers State Senator Lisbeth Benekisto said that Workman had touched her inappropriately and made vulgar comments to her at a charity event. Now, Benekisto had a, a private meeting with Scott last month, but the governor is refusing to say whether or not she talked about Workman, who's seen right there. The governor refused to answer questions. In the midst of a scandal shaking up the Florida Senate, Governor Rick Scott has ordered state agency heads to adopt a sexual harassment policy. It requires training for workers. It also lays out procedures for reporting and investigating those complaints. Scott issued an executive order yesterday detailing the steps that the agency must immediately take to address the issue of sexual harassment. As the Senate conducts two investigations into allegations of sexual misconduct by Senator Jack Lavala, Scott hopes his order will streamline how all harassment claims will be handled in state government. Every um, agency was doing a little bit differently. What this what this did is set up a process where, you know, we you know we have um, clear expectations of what the training would be, what the reporting process would be. Um, it's all just to make sure we have a process that works. Recently, a high-ranking Senate aide accused Lavala of groping her on several different occasions and making unwelcome comments about her body over the past several years. He's maintained that he did not touch the accuser or any other woman inappropriately. And back at home, Sarasota County Sheriff's deputies arrested a couple in connection with a string of burglaries. Earlier this month, detectives responded to several reports of stolen vehicles. Investigators then found the stolen items for sale listed for sale on Facebook by Sean Vallejo and Elena Marie Colton. Now, both are charged with four counts of burglary, four counts of grand theft of a motor vehicle, and a single count of dealing in stolen property. Investigators say additional charges in that case are possible. Also in Sarasota County, three people arrested after deputies he said they recovered more than 200 grams of an illegal synthetic drug in their car. It happened during a traffic stop at US 301 and University Parkway. Sarasota County Sheriff deputies say two men and a woman were in the car. Deputies say the driver smelled of marijuana and also had a revoked driver's license. Deputies searched the truck and found a bag of marijuana. All three were taken to the Sarasota County Jail, where deputies say they later found a bag of a synthetic drug called Pentalone, commonly sold as MDMA. The Charlotte County Sheriff's Office is now addressing some negative social media comments in the wake of the death of their canine who was struck and killed by a car earlier this week. The Sheriff's Office is still mourning the loss of their canine, Ida, who was found dead. Members of the canine unit are concerned, though, about comments on social media questioning the use of kennels for their canines. The Sheriff's Office says their canine handlers are members of the U.S. Police Canine Association, and they do follow the guidelines for training and handling of the dogs. Now, the executive director of the U.S. Police Association, David McFerlin, says, while it is not unusual to have a dog freely roaming inside the house while attended by its handler, it is also not unusual to have a private and dedicated kennel space for the dog to rest and de-stress for its next upcoming assignment. The Sheriff's Office is conducting their own internal investigation, so something like this can never happen again. This morning, a boil water notice should be lifted in less than an hour in parts of Manatee County. Water was shut off around 10 o'clock last night and will be shut until 6 o'clock this morning for those living from Canal Street to 106th Street West between Cortez Road and Bayview Drive. Now, you should boil water for 24 to 48 hours after the water has been turned back on. Happening tonight, one of the top medical marijuana sellers is holding a patient information session this evening. 
The company TrueLeave will discuss what conditions qualify to receive a medical marijuana card in Florida, what products are available at the dispensaries, and the best way to use the products to control specific medical conditions. It starts at 6 p.m. at the Gulf Coast Ketamine Center on University Parkway. In travel news, if you're trying to get to Omaha this winter, Allegiant Airlines is now offering non-stop service from Punta Gorda. The new seasonal flights operate twice weekly between Punta Gorda Airport and Epley Airfield in Omaha. This new route is expected to bring in close to 10,000 visitors to that area. And according to AAA, three Florida cities make up the top holiday travel destinations, including the number one spot, Orlando, projected to be the top place to be for those traveling during the holiday season. Miami and Fort Lauderdale are also in the top 10. Over 100 million Americans are projected to celebrate the holiday season away from home. And I think if they were to include Grandma's house, that would, <laughs> that would top Orlando. I, I think that might work, too. Or Grandma's house and Orlando. Psh, magical vacation yeah. right Oh, there. magical. Magical, right? Way to work that in. Right? You're welcome, Disney. Nice. Good morning, Josh. Nice. How are you? Good morning. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah. What's magical in our forecast today? I think the warm weather is coming back, and uh, a lot of people like the cool weather. Of course, tis the season, right? Yes, but yes. we are in Florida, and some people want a break from all that cold. They come down here, they're like, what is this? Right, that's what everyone's right. saying. So, they're like, why is it cold on our break? Looks like we're getting more average-like conditions, and it makes our weather department very popular. All right. Ah, all, right. Good. <laughs> all right, also head first alert traffic, and... That is right. Now, get this. We're going to have a preview of how the Secretary of State hopes to deal with North Korea. And later in the hour, we'll tell you why Democrats want to wait before a vote on the GOP tax reform plan. That and more on the way. For more than 100 years, American Humane Association has been teaching kids to be kind to animals. Those in our homes, on the farms, on the silver screen, and wildlife conservation caring for the world's vanishing creatures. But we can't do it alone. Visit kindness100.org to find ways to teach kids how they can make a more caring, compassionate, and humane world for all of us. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers, so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high-performance parts and advice. Do you have type 2 diabetes, which requires daily blood monitoring? If you have diabetes, are you on Medicare, Obamacare, or other health insurance? If you answered yes, you may be eligible for diabetic testing supplies at little to no out-of-pocket cost to you. Our accredited staff will handle all of your paperwork for free. And best of all, your diabetic testing supplies are shipped directly to your home for free. Call now to see if you qualify for a meter upgrade and a free pedometer to monitor your daily walking. Use alternate testing sites, a smaller blood sample, and even hear your results out loud. Will you qualify for diabetic testing supplies and an upgraded meter? covered by Medicare, Obamacare, or health insurance at little to no out-of-pocket cost to you? Find out for free by calling the Diabetes Resource Center at 1-800-394-1098. That's 1-800-394-1098. 1-800-394-1098. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. If you're looking for a rewarding job you'll love, good news. The perfect job is just a click away. Go to mysuncoast.com slash job of the day. It's that easy. Stop searching and go to mysuncoast.com slash job of the day to find the perfect job for you. Okay, good to see you on this Thursday. We've got one more day until Friday, so get excited about that. We're waking up to temperatures like this. 
lower 50s, upper 40s. Yesterday morning, our temperatures were in the lower 40s. So right now, looking a lot better than it was yesterday because of the winds. Now, the winds aren't going to be breezy today, but notice they're coming out of the south and east. And that's going to be the trend thanks to an area of high pressure that is helping to bring those winds up from the south and eventually the southwest. And that's going to also help increase those dew points. Remember, yesterday we we're showing dew points into the lower 30s and lower 40s, but today they're in the upper 40s and mid to upper 30s. So that's just a sign of things to come as we go through the next several days. So warmer today than it was yesterday. Possible showers could develop tomorrow, and then we're in store for a very nice and pleasant weekend. As far as our radar goes, nothing to show you here. It's all quiet. Here's the area of high pressure. This is actually going to move to the east here and those winds are going to be coming around and up from the south and eventually the southwest and then there's a, a kind of a weak front to our north and with a little bit more moisture in the course of two points going up we have the chance for some light showers to develop as we go through tomorrow um, possibly later on tonight but I think uh, it's not going to be a big deal by any means. So expect increasing clouds today. Some of the showers you may see in the late afternoon hours here on our in-house forecasting model. I think this is kind of being aggressive, but as we get into the overnight and maybe into tomorrow morning, say 24 hours from now, we could see some light showers around the area. These will be short lived and not, you know, produce that much rain. But then look what happens as we get into Friday. Nothing to show you here on the future cast because we're going to have mostly sunny skies. Big uh, weather story right now is what's happening here in the Northeast around New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. Snow coming down for them, potentially causing some travel issues. But uh, also that chilly air. Look right now, it is five degrees in Toronto, 21 in Detroit. So aren't you glad you're down here in Sunshine State? All right, for the boaters today, winds out of the southwest 10 knots, sea is 2 to 3 feet with a light chop. Tides today, 11.06 a.m. will be the high tide. Today's high will be 72. Expect those increasing clouds coming in later. And then the weekend is shaping up to be extremely nice. Back to you. All right, taking a look at your first alert traffic. Not too bad there in Manatee County. Just a couple slowdowns here and there. 64 East as you head away from downtown Bradenton is a little backed up. And a little bit there uh, southbound on 301 is a little backed up. Heading into North Sarasota, not looking too bad on there. You've got University Parkway up there. That's a slowdown if you're heading west on that one. And then in South County again, looking pretty clear out there. A little, a little glitch right there on 72, but other than that, not much to see out there today. Pretty slow. All right, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson says he's ready to talk with North Korea anytime, anywhere, and without conditions. As reporter Brian Todd tells us, this marks another disagreement between the Secretary of State and the White House when it comes to dealing with North Korea's nuclear program. Tonight, a bold stroke from America's top diplomat leaves an opening for drawing down tensions with Kim Jong-un. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson says America is ready to sit down and talk with North Korea with no preconditions. Let's just meet and let's, we can talk about the weather if you want. We can talk about whether it's going to be a square table or a round table if that's what you're excited about. <laughs> but can we at least sit down and, and see each other face to face? Tillerson's not on the same page with President Trump. The White House telling CNN tonight that given North Korea's most recent missile test, clearly right now is not the time for negotiations. President Trump tweeted in October that Tillerson was, quote, wasting his time trying to negotiate with Little Rocket Man. The White House says Kim's regime has to show it's willing to end its nuclear weapons program and has to stop provoking the U.S. before any talks can even start something Tillerson himself said in April. North Korea must take concrete steps to reduce the threat that its illegal weapons programs pose to the United States and our allies before we can even consider talks. Tillerson now says it's not realistic to expect Kim to commit to giving up his weapons before talking to the North Koreans. But he does say Kim has to pause his missile tests if they talk. And his spokesperson said, as long as North Korea is launching missiles and testing nuclear bombs, they're not showing they're serious about talking. Tonight, veteran diplomats and former White House officials warn the North Koreans have negotiated with America before to scale back their nuclear weapons, only to break their promises. 
and they say Kim's negotiators are known to act like mafia bosses at the bargaining table. They basically treat negotiations like an ATM machine. Every time they want to get a new cash payment, they come to the table and they, you know, they use the negotiations to play for time and play for advantage. And then what happens is the North Koreans say, if you don't give us X, we will walk away and conduct a provocation, a nuclear test, a missile test. Still, some analysts say talking to Kim now, while tensions are so high, could at least bring the danger levels down. They could stop the escalation. The talks could stop the missile launches. They could stop the nuclear test and ultimately down the road, stop the production of more fissile material and stop moving it in the other direction. CNN has reached out to North Korea's mission at the UN for response to Tillerson's offer for talks. We've gotten no response. And for the latest on local and breaking news, you can download the updated version of our app. iPhone users need to go to the App Store. They're open 24 hours, 24-7. That is right. They truly are. <laughs> Search for WWSB or My Suncoast. Android users will get that update automatically. Still ahead on Good Morning Suncoast. On Tech Bites, we're going to tell you how a certain red retailer plans to compete with Walmart and Amazon over the holidays. Hint, how it could mean big savings for you. You're right on target there. Oh. Next half hour, Google building an artificial intelligence research center. will tell you why it's causing controversy. Those stories and more when we come back. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Since 1928, Karistan has been setting the standard in carpets and rugs, producing non-allergenic wools that won't promote the growth of bacteria or dust mites like other carpets will. Karistan wools actively remove contaminants from the indoor air, making your home healthier. And there are many colors and patterns and textures to choose from. Come see for yourself. So many possibilities worth exploring, Minnesota flooring. Hi, I'm Joan London with A Place for Mom. Over the years, we've helped thousands of families find senior care, and today's senior living communities have never been better. With amazing amenities like movie theaters, exercise rooms and swimming pools, public cafes, bars and bistros, even pet care services. And nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. These are local expert advisors that will partner with you to find the perfect place and determine the right level of care, whether that's just a helping hand or full-time memory care. Best of all, it's a free service. Call today, a place for mom. You know your family, we know senior living. Together, we'll make the right choice. Call a place for mom right now to get our free ebook on financing senior care, as well as a free referral for senior living communities in your area. Call 1-800-290-0352 that's 1-800-290-0352. Florida's 2017 state Christmas tree was lit at the Capitol Wednesday by Governor Rick Scott and his wife, Ann. They were joined by members of the Florida Cabinet. The Florida-grown red cedar is one of approximately 16,000 trees that will be harvested and sold by more than 100 Christmas tree farms across Florida. The fresh Christmas tree industry in Florida adds about $3 million to the state's economy. Agriculture Commissioner Adam Putnam says all families should support local tree growers during the holidays. This year's tree was provided by the Bavarian Christmas Tree Farm of Tallahassee. The farm also supplied trees to Putnam's office, as well as those of Florida Attorney General and Chief Financial Officer. The Christmas trees will be on display through the end of the month in Tallahassee. That is right. And just a reminder, if you guys have any pictures or videos that you would like to share, we would love to use them on our show as well. And what's interesting, you can connect with us on Facebook. But also be sure to check out My Sun Coast on Instagram. Ray and I do daily news updates. And we also take you behind the scenes of a lot of things that go on here at ABC7 as That's well. Right. So check us out on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter while you're there. All right, welcome back. 524 right now. That's right. A major, a major retailer is hoping to compete with Walmart and Amazon by launching, brace yourself, same day delivery. By drone? I hope so. Just <laughs> drop it in my backyard. Candace <laughs> Gibson, Diamond have the story. 
In today's Tech Bytes, Target's same-day delivery service. So the chain is paying more than half a billion dollars in cash for Shipt, a company that specializes in grocery deliveries. Target plans to start offering same-day delivery at half of its stores next year. And Walmart is offering its workers a way to access their paychecks before payday. Yeah, so employees short on funds can get paid early through a new app. They can do it up to eight times a year. The retailer will also provide an app to help workers budget. And what better place to see the latest Star Wars movie than in space? The crew of the International Space Station will be able to watch Star Wars The Last Jedi. NASA says the movie will be beamed up as a digital file Crew members can then watch it on a laptop or projector. That's kind of neat. I would love, I hope they film themselves watching the film. I think they might. Those are your Tech Bites. Have a great day. Tech Bites, brought to you by Quicken Loans. Nick is a logistical mastermind. When it comes to moving packages on a global scale, nobody does it better. He's also an avid cookie connoisseur. Dig in, big guy. But when it comes to mortgages, he's less confident. Fortunately for Nick, there's Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. It's simple, so he can understand the details and get approved in as few as eight minutes. Apply simply, understand fully, mortgage confidently. Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. Time's running out to get everything on your list. Hurry into JCPenney. Find great gifts like diamond studs or pendant, just $25. Levi's for the family. Plus, sleepwear up to 60% off or get $10 off with your coupon. Hurry in and Saturday. JCPenney. Are cream conditioners bringing your hair down? Switch to new Pantene Light as Air Foam Conditioner. Full of rich Pro V nutrients for 100% conditioning, 0% weight. New Pantene Foam Conditioner. It's the holiday sales event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKX Sport Utility for $349 per month or Lincoln's flagship, the 2017 Continental for $449 per month. We have a great selection of certified pre-owned Lincolns. These vehicles have warranties up to 100,000 miles and come with complimentary roadside assistance. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury. Winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award. Serving Florida Sun Coast since 1978. We are located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. This is an important medical announcement. Talcum powder products from some of the best known brands have been linked to ovarian cancer. Any woman who has used a talcum powder product and has been diagnosed with ovarian cancer may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that women with long-term use of talcum powder, including baby powder for feminine hygiene, can increase the risk of contracting ovarian cancer. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to women who should have been warned about the risks of ovarian cancer with long-term use of talcum powder. Call the talcum powder hotline. If you or a loved one used talcum powder and were diagnosed or died from ovarian cancer, you must call now. Call 800-570-7599. 800-570-7599. It's time to take a road trip. Alabama's got a hundred road trips, and some will take you back in time to the Civil Rights Movement or even the Civil War. Your boys play nice now. From Helen Keller to Hamlet. Check out these big guns. We're talking the USS Alabama. Alabama's got a hundred road trips. Plan yours at alabama.travel. Which one you gonna take? Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? <laughs> B, console her? Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend. Nice, single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Here's something we bet you didn't know. Nearly half of all cancers can be prevented. That's right, half, nearly 50%, mostly by making small everyday changes in your diet and controlling your weight, walking more, eating less, and eating foods that help you and your family to seriously reduce the risk of cancer. And of course, by not smoking. Visit the Cancer Prevention Together We Can website and get a free 30-day planner filled with tips, recipes, stats, and more about protecting your family. Go to prevent50.org. 
ABC7 is the most watched, most trusted news source on the Sun Coast, and we owe it all to you, our loyal viewers. Thank you for making us number one. Coming up on Good Morning Sun Coast, we'll tell you why Democrats want to put off a vote on that GOP tax bill. Plus, a Kentucky state lawmaker facing allegations of sexual, sexual assault takes his own life on a bridge in Louisville. And the latest on rumors surrounding a big resignation from the White House. Those stories and much more right now on Good Morning Sun Coast. Live from the ABC7 studios, this is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. Good morning. It's 5.30. Welcome. Welcome back, I should yeah. say. I'm Stephanie Webb. I'm Ray Collins. Omarosa in the White House never was going to be a great fit. She's got such a strong personality. Yes, she does. She was fired three times from The Apprentice. <laughs> right. It's such, a, it's such a talker this morning. Everybody's been talking about that one late yesterday afternoon and then again this morning. Others too. there said, I'm not sure what she did here in the first place. Yes, and yes. it's very interesting. We'll have that update on just why they are parting ways and all the rumors that are surrounding it. John Scalzi continues his sabbatical. We've got Josh Stone now here. Good morning, Josh. Good morning, guys. Yeah, you know, yesterday we started our day, I think the official low was 45 degrees, but right now we're a little bit warmer than that because we're going to have south winds today that will help bring back the warmer temperatures. Right now it's 51 in Sarasota, 52 in Brainton, and 54 in Venice, clear skies. And uh, a few passing high clouds. I think the clouds will be in the increase today. Not much to show you here on the radar. But uh, there's your highs today. As we go through the day, our temperatures climb back into the low 70s. The average for this time of the year for a high is 73. So we're going to maybe not get right to 73, but we're going to get close to it. And then I think you're going to like what I show you for the upcoming weekend. Back to you. What a tease, yeah, all good right. Good tease, I like that. Let's check first alert traffic right now in Manatee County. 301 northbound slowing down as you get close to downtown Bradenton. Otherwise pretty clear in Manatee. Checking farther south, you'll see a buildup there east of the interstate on Clark Road as you come across uh, the under overpass there. Otherwise pretty clear in the northern half of Sarasota County. South County, mostly clear at 531 on your Thursday morning. Our top story this half hour, more than 1 million gallons of wastewater is said to have spilled mm. after a force main was damaged late on Monday. Let's go live to the scene now in Cortez, Manatee County. Marla Spence. Marla, must, uh, does it smell bad out there right now at all? Yes, Ray, it does, and all that wastewater is being cleaned up, and that issue is being fixed by several uh, workers with the Manatee County Utility Workers. Now, they're right behind me. They've been out here since I got out here earlier around 4 o'clock this morning, and you can imagine that they have been working day in and day out just to fix this issue. Now, that pipe with a force main was uh, hit earlier this week and it was in the process of being replaced and that's when a worker struck and hit that pipe earlier this week and it resulted in that major water spill. Now as of last night about 1.5 million gallons of water wastewater that is was spilled so you can imagine the smell in this area and crews with the Manatee County Utilities like I said have been out here trying to fix this issue day in and day out and trying to also fix that force main. Now there is a detour on 66 Street West in this area. If you're headed over to Heritage Village West, there is a detour. So people who are looking to get to work or even leave this area um, from their homes to get to work on um, their advice to leave a little bit earlier just to make it into work on time. Reporting live for ABC 7, I'm Marla Spence reporting live. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Marla. She's so matter of fact about that. Does it smell out yes, there? Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does, right? It smells out here. Yes, right to the point. 533 right now. All right. Well, it is an issue that could be affecting all all of us next year. We've got the latest for you on that GOP tax plan. Yeah, the vote is expected to be so close on Capitol Hill that Democrats want to wait until the senator-elect from uh, Alabama, Doug Jones, gets sworn in first. ABC's Gloria Rivera has the latest. If Congress sends me a bill before Christmas, the IRS has just confirmed that Americans will see lower taxes and bigger paychecks beginning in February. President Trump touting his tax plan at the White House as congressional Republicans announce they are not there yet, but much closer to a deal. Here is what the House and Senate have agreed to so far. Drop the corporate tax rate from 35 to 21 percent. Cap the mortgage interest deduction at $750,000, a middle ground between the Senate and House versions. Repeal the Obamacare individual mandate that requires all Americans to have insurance 
and lower the top individual tax rate from 39 to 37 percent. On Capitol Hill, protesters appealed to Republican Senator Bob Corker, who voted no to the Senate version. Corker is concerned over how much the new bill will cost. A new analysis predicts it could add more than $1.5 trillion to the nation's debt. Democrats share that concern and claim middle class America will pay the price. The public knows about this bill. They don't know all the details, but they smell what's going on. Tax cuts for the wealthiest, no help for so many in the middle class. GOP lawmakers are aiming to vote on a final version next week. Democrats are pushing for the vote to be delayed until newly elected Alabama Senator Doug Jones can be sworn in. That is not likely. And Republican lawmakers who have expressed concerns are not saying they intend to vote no. Gloria Riviera, ABC News, Washington. Also on Capitol Hill, two House Democrats are asking the Office of Government Ethics to investigate allegations of sexual misconduct against President Trump. At least 15 women have come forward over the years with a wide range of accusations. They include sexual assault, harassment, and lewd behavior around women before he was president. President Trump has denied all allegations. Oh, and this has been a big talker late afternoon and this morning. You're fired! Or was she? Former Apprentice star Omarosa Manigault Newman is leaving the White House. We do know that. Now, officially, according to the White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders, Manigault Newman resigned Tuesday. But other sources in the White House claim she was fired by Chief of Staff John Kelly and escorted off the grounds. Now, she's been serving since January as a top communication official for the White House Office of Public Liaison. Now, the White House says that Manning Galt Newman will stay in her position until January the 20th. Good Morning America's Michael Strahan has an exclusive with her later on this morning, so keep it right here on ABC7 for that as well. A Kentucky state lawmaker facing allegations of sexual assault died last night from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. Dan Johnson's death came 24 hours after he vigorously denied he assaulted a 17-year-old girl four years ago. Police say that Johnson shot himself around about 7.30 p.m. on a bridge in Louisville. Johnson was a pastor. The governor said his heart breaks for Johnson's family. All right, next, did losing a political race actually save the life of an Alabama congressman? It just might have. Mo Brooks revealed Wednesday that he has prostate cancer. Now, the Republican ran earlier this year for the state's Senate seat vacated by Attorney General Jeff Sessions. He lost the nomination to Roy Moore, who was beaten by Democrat Doug Jones on Tuesday. But there is a silver lining in that loss. It gave him some time to take care of his health. Had I won... I would not have had time for my physical and PSA test. In retrospect, and paradoxically, losing the Senate race may have saved my life. Yes, God does work in mysterious ways. Wow, that is a very true statement. Tests show that Brooks' cancer has not spread. He will undergo surgery on Friday. The representative's father also suffered from prostate cancer, and he lived four decades after he was first diagnosed. So some good news in that case. It certainly is. 538 right now. Google is launching an artificial intelligence research center in Beijing, despite the fact that most of its services are unavailable in China. Google essentially left China in 2010, but the country's growing Internet users make it too big a market to ignore. Beijing has said it wants to build a $150 billion artificial intelligence industry in the coming years, and Google's AI center will likely help it accomplish that goal. But it comes with risks like national security concerns. The U.S. government and various think tanks have accused China of trying to take shortcuts by spying and hacking or forcing companies to hand over their intellectual property. Google has dismissed all of these concerns. First Lady Melania Trump is wrapping up her first year in the White House with some unwrapped gifts. Continuing a First Lady tradition, she spent Wednesday afternoon at Joint Base Anacostia Bowling in Washington, D.C., helping sort donations for the Marine Corps' Toys for Tots program. Mrs. Trump said she was inspired when she saw so many Americans giving back during this year's devastating hurricane season. So she challenged everyone to continue that spirit right through the holidays. But this isn't the first time Toys for Tots has enjoyed that presidential support. Former First Lady Michelle Obama and President Barack Obama were also active with Toys for Tots. 
And we're learning more about some of the stamps being released by the U.S. Postal Service next year. Legendary musician John Lennon will be getting a stamp next year. So will award-winning singer and activist Lena Horne. I love this one. Children's television pioneer Mr. Rogers is finally getting his own stamp. That is long overdue, as will the first American woman in space, Sally Ride. There's also a movie on the way out about Mr. Rogers as well. There is. Yes. Oh, very interesting. I like that as well. The man had a fascinating career. Yeah, neat guy. Fascinating career, that's right. All right, shifting gears a little bit. After a four-month investigation, we continue to learn more details about the three men facing criminal charges after being involved in that awful video of a shark being dragged from behind a boat. And once again, this is very graphic, so only watch yeah. if you choose to right now. 21-year-old, not, not these three, the video, 21-year-old Michael Wenzel, 28-year-old Robert Benack, and 23-year-old Spencer Hines are all being charged with animal cruelty. Benack is the son of Manatee County Commission Chairperson Betsy Benack. Wenzel is the son of Manatee County Planning Manager Robert Wenzel. Now, if found guilty, they could face up to five years in prison and a $10,000 fine. Florida Fish and Wildlife says its investigation is now complete, and they hope the charges send a clear message that this kind of behavior will not be tolerated. The city of Venice is investigating how a city employee approved an additional million dollars on a city project on his own. For months now, an outside engineering firm has been removing large lime pits from Pinebrook Park. This lime is left over from an old water treatment facility. The city is spending $2.5 million to remove the lime, but the project had some complications and required some additional money. But rather than the city manager or city council approving the funds, a city employee did. When they made that determination, that's when they should have come to me and said, here's our situation, in which case um, it wasn't a crisis then. The city manager says the employee didn't know the correct policy on approving funds. He also wouldn't say if any discipline could come against this employee. A rehabbed manatee is now back in his home in the ocean off the coast of Miami. The Miami Sea Aquarium helped rehabilitate the female manatee in its rescue and rehabilitation partnership. Naboo has been under the Sea Aquarium's care since August after she was hit by a boat suffering a rib fracture and punctured lungs. But now the 1,000 pound manatee is all healed up and reuniting with all her other manatee friends. Giving a little high five. Naboo is ready for release. <laughs> she has passed all our dive testing. She's put on weight while she's been here and she's all healed. So she's ready to go. Even better, Naboo was released in the same area in which she was rescued. I like that's a good ending to that story. Manatee giving high fives to right? his friends. It paints a vision, doesn't it? And, uh, you know, it could happen. Yeah, and Josh will say, <laughs> great weekend to be in the water. That's right, we're going to high five. Yes. Yeah, well, it's a little cool in the water temperature. but Not if I you're mean, from up north. It probably still feels warm. That's true, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's going to be very nice compared to what we've had over the last couple Absolutely. of days. Absolutely. A lot of people down here for Christmas break, too, still loving this warmer weather. Exactly, yeah. And we'll have all the details coming up. Also ahead, we'll have first alert traffic and holiday travel. Hazardous to your health. That's right. Up next in Health Smart, we're going to tell you, though, how to avoid those holiday blues when you hit the road. For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50 plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help with Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301 sarasotaford.com are you currently on medicare in other words do you carry the red white and blue medicare card 
If so, are you suffering from chronic back pain? If you answered yes, you may be eligible for a pain-relieving back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost, shipped directly to your home for free. These medical-grade back braces are ideal for lower back pain, arthritis, spinal disorders, and other chronic back problems. Our accredited staff will handle all of the Medicare paperwork for free. And best of all, your brace is shipped directly to your home for free. Don't let chronic lower back pain slow you down. Get moving and stay active with a medical-grade back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost. We also accept Blue Cross Blue Shield, United Healthcare, Aetna, Humana, and other insurance. Will you qualify for a medical-grade back brace covered by Medicare? Find out for free. Call Back Brace America at 1-800-715-0835. That's 1-800-715-0835. 1-800-715-0835. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or, heaven forbid, replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Every week on Animal Outtakes, it's a new adventure. From meeting curious lemurs to feeding big cats and hosing down rhinos, there's never a dull moment. And sometimes these amazing animals chime in. Tune in to Animal Outtakes to find out what they have to say. Watch Animal Outtakes every week on ABC7. ABC7, your official Florida lottery station for the Sun Coast. Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Josh Stone in for John Scalzi today. So if we have Christmas Eve, what would today be? The Last Jedi Eve, maybe? Like Is that it? You like that? that? See, <laughs> yes. Star Wars geek right here. <laughs> anyway, getting excited for tomorrow. 51 degrees right now. Yesterday, the official low was 45, so we're warmer than we were yesterday. Fair skies right now, but I think the clouds will be the increase. Dew point right now, 49. Yesterday, the dew points are in the lower 40s, so just a sign of things to come because we're going to have more of a southerly wind to help increase the moisture and the warm air. Right now, nothing to show you on the radar. Here's the area of high pressure. This is going to slowly slide east and to the northeast, and with that, the winds around it clockwise will bring in those winds up from the south and southwest eventually, helping to warm our air back up to more average light conditions. Today, I think we're going to top out in the low 70s. There's also a stationary boundary to our north. This looks to sag a little bit further south, and with the more moisture in place, we could actually get a few showers that develop as we get into tomorrow. This in-house model is a little more aggressive with showers today. I don't think that's really going to happen, maybe to the north of our area, but by tomorrow morning and maybe through the morning hours of tomorrow, we could have a few light showers that develop. It'll be short-lived and then dissipate pretty quickly. And as you can see, for Friday, the rest of the day and into Saturday, nothing to show you here in the future cast because we're going to have mostly sunny skies and warm conditions. Where there's a trouble spot is what this is. This was a clipper system that came through the upper Midwest yesterday. Look how quickly it uh, tracked across into the Northeast, and now it's affecting places like Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Long Island with some accumulating snow there. It's also pretty chilly up here in Toronto. Five degrees right now at this hour. 21 in Detroit, 19 in Chicago, 51 down here in Sarasota. As far as travel delays go, Nothing to show you. Flying out of Sarasota, going to LaGuardia, Atlanta, Chicago, Charlotte. Looks pretty good at this time. Okay, for the Mariners today, southwest winds at 10 knots. Sea is 2 to 3 feet just offshore. Light conditions in the bays. Temperature at the beach today will be 71 degrees. Increasing clouds today. Your tides, high tide will be 11.06 a.m. Low tide at 3.57 this afternoon. The average high for this time of the year is 73 we could be around 72 today, so one degree shy of the mark. And as far as your upcoming weekend, looking nice. 
maybe above average, mid-70s, lower 80s possibly by Sunday and Monday, and that's pretty outstanding as far as I'm concerned. Back to you. All right, here's a look at your first alert traffic. Let's start in Manatee County here. Nothing too bad on the roads, just a little hitch right there on 301 going, more, boing, going both north and southbound in that case. Heading into North Sarasota, as usual, University Parkway is starting to get a little bit backed up there. And you've got a little bit of a slowdown right there on Bee Ridge Road as well, heading east. And then in South County, that one is usually looking pretty good, and it is right now, too, at 549. Roads are looking pretty good out there. In this hour is Health Smart. If you're traveling this holiday season, the CDC has a few tips for you, especially if you are leaving the country. Now, the first step is doing your research. Find out about any health concerns at your destination and plan accordingly. Prepare and pack a travel health kit with anything that you might need, including medicine, sunscreen, bug bite protection. Now, if you plan to leave the U.S., you should also check with your health insurance provider. This is a big one about international coverage. You might even consider getting additional insurance for medical care and emergency evacuations, especially if you're going someplace remote. Now, once you arrive at your destination, be careful about indulging in that local cuisine. Now, in some developing countries, eat only fully cooked food that is served hot. Don't eat fresh vegetables or fruits unless you can peel them yourself. Another big one, drink only bottled beverages and steer clear of ice. It was probably made with tap water in a lot of cases. Now, once you get back home, if you're not feeling so good, see a doctor as soon as possible and make sure to tell them that you have recently traveled. When choosing experience or youth, when it comes to picking your doctor, you might want to go with youth. A new study by Harvard said that patients are more likely to die when treated by doctors over the age of 60. The study looked at the records of 730,000 Medicare patients between 2011 and 2014, and patient deaths rose as their doctors got older. Researchers attribute this to younger doctors keeping their skills sharper and being open to the latest medical breakthroughs and developments. And here's something our entire morning team can relate to. Turns out, people, that having erratic sleep stifles both your focus and creativity. Ah. Nights of little sleep or binge sleeping, like on the weekends, mm -hmm. like we all might do, means you may suffer from lost cognition and irritability, <clears throat> among <laughs> other side <laughs> effects. No names. <laughs> no names. Doctors recommend what they've been saying for years. A consistent seven to nine hours of sleep is what is best for everyone. That's tough to get. Seven to nine? That's hard yeah. sometimes, yeah. So students, if you think working at night makes you more productive or creative, you might want to think again in that case. Yeah, every study I've heard says waking up at 3 a.m. to go to work is not a good idea. Right. I, there's, <laughs> uh, this study right here on our desk said it's wrong, people. It's wrong to get up this early. But we love it. That's why we're here. That's right. 552 still ahead your day's top local news headlines. And look up because the night sky had quite a show. That's right. We're going to tell you all about this spectacular meteor shower right after this. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. It's the holiday sales event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sport Utility for $269 per month or a 2017 MKZ for $279 per month. We have a great selection of certified pre-owned Lincolns. These vehicles have warranties up to 100,000 miles and come with complimentary roadside assistance. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury, winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award, serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We are located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. You love your couch and want to protect it from spills, food, and scratching, shedding pets. Introducing Couch Coat, the reversible, washable quilted cover that protects your couch. Shield against spills, wow, stop stains, and dirty pet paws and sharp claws. Plus, it's reversible with two stylish colors. Guaranteed to fit any couch up to 92 inches or your money back. It even has covers to protect armrests. Machine washable too. My grandkids destroy everything but with couch coat my couch is always protected looking as good as it did the day I bought it get your couch coat for just $19.99 and it's reversible in brown and cream like two couch coats for the price of one order right now and you can double your offer get a second couch coat just pay a separate fee order right now call 1-800-943-0710 to get your couch coat call now or go to couchcoat.com so call 1-800-943-0710 that's 1-800-943-0710 call now 
This is an important announcement. If you're between 50 and 85 and worried about your loved ones, you can still get affordable life insurance for peace of mind. My life insurance coverage is guaranteed, and I was not required to get a medical exam. I had high blood pressure and diabetes, and I got my coverage with one telephone call. No exam necessary. I'm a smoker, and I wanted to take care of my family. I called to get my life insurance and my affairs in order. I wanted to do the right thing. Call Final Expense No Exam Insurance. Your rates are guaranteed and will never increase. I called and learned that this insurance cannot be canceled, even if you get sick or gain weight. And there are no restrictions on how my beneficiaries use the money when I'm gone. Approval was easy, and the price was right. I wanted to do this for my children. Call 800-738-9812. 800-738-9812. I'm Alan Cohn. How a local couple's treehouse not only became a federal case, it's going all the way to the United States Supreme Court. Tomorrow on ABC 7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Here are some of the top stories that we're following for you on the Sun Coast today. A Kentucky state lawmaker accused of sexual misconduct shot and killed himself last night on a bridge in Louisville. He had denied the allegations. Plus, a major pipe burst spilling hundreds of gallons of wastewater on Cortez Road in Manatee County. And 100 million Americans will travel for the holidays to top destination nationwide. Orlando. I think I'm going to stay off I-4 then. Yes. (laughs) Good idea. All right, finally this hour, if you are looking for a fantastic light show tonight, all you have to do is look up. The annual Gemini meteor shower is one of the most spectacular of the year. There's another one. There's another reason why this one is special. For most meteor showers, they're caused by comets, but the Geminis are associated with an asteroid called the 3200 Phaethon. Having an asteroid as the foundation of a meteor shower provides a great source of dust grains as they, they're going to burn up as they head into the Earth's atmosphere. According to NASA, this one makes this meteor shower more visually spectacular. No matter where you are in the world, you're going to be able to see it. It's going to reach its peak this morning from about midnight to 4 a.m. But you do want to get away from the city lights. That'll help you see it a little bit better. Is that all that right, Josh? Exactly. <laughs> what, what did you say? I better myself. All right. All right. Good. More local news and more of Josh after this, folks. Stay with us.